talk to you about today is uh, the uh, traction control that's uh, uh, that's a feature on uh, the axis supports and that we utilize in our tunes. So as you know the cars, um, the STs, come with a traction control system from the factory and that uses the brakes and the throttle um, to limit wheel spin when it detects it. Well Cobb has given us the ability to instead of use the throttle on the brakes uh, to use engine timing. So what that does is that reduces the power output of the engine when it detects slip and that is a difference between in the front wheel drive vehicle it's a difference in speed between the front and the rear um, the, the rear wheels and uh, once a certain amount of slip is detected it progressively reduces power and timing making a very smooth way for you to regain traction now one thing that you have to uh, you have to keep in mind is that a traction control system for it to be effective you don't want it to be too intrusive and yet you want it to be helpful so there's a very fine line there very fine balance the reason why the Cobb traction control is there is to be a little bit smoother and more tunable than the OEM traction control system which can rob um, the, the car of speed uh, and, and acceleration too abruptly and at the same time of course use up the brakes so uh, we've developed our own calibration for for the spark based uh, traction control so that it feels uh, sporty and, and that you still are able to allow some wheel spin but the key here is to make the wheel spin controllable uh, with with your foot with your accelerator when you have control of that wheel spin you can ease in and off the throttle uh, quite nicely to regain traction and uh, and it also gives you the ability to moment, maintain the momentum of the car and uh, also um, they shift into the next gear when you get close to redline. So I'm going to just demonstrate that we are on semi damp pavement here. Uh, the car makes about 400 foot pounds of torque, and uh, this is this is going to be a demonstration in the second gear. And this is the stratified uh, calibration of the spark based traction control system. So we'll show you this. Keep an eye on the tachometer as uh, as I accelerate through this. The car is uh, has the stability. Control um, the traction control, the OEM traction control turned off. So calibration does uh, on top of the, the, the logic that Cobb has put in uh, is that we are able to just finally tune it so that the traction control system doesn't get in your way in terms of bogging down the car's momentum but rather it, uh, it helps you. Uh, another nice little feature here uh, on the latest firmware is that you can actually use your handheld to adjust the traction control mode and uh, on the stratified tune traction control system what we've done is we put in mode one our our preferred setting and then up from there up to mode eight you can progressively uh, allow more and more slip uh, as part of the traction control system if, if that's what uh, if that's what you desire uh, and that's all done on the handheld and another thing that you can do of course is you can turn the traction control the spark based traction control uh, entirely off uh, again on the handheld uh, with the latest Cobb firmware. So hopefully that is a nice demonstration of, uh, of how the traction control system works and how it differs from the OEM uh, brake and throttle based systems and how it can actually make you uh, go faster whether you're going around a, a turn or accelerating in a straight line.